Hello and welcome back to another Heliguy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to use DJI's Flight Hub with your drones. So now let's get into how to set up Flight Hub for your business. So to get to the Flight Hub website, all you need to do is click the link in the description. That will take you away to Flight Hub, and then we'll get into the activation process. Once you've purchased Flight Hub, you'll receive an email with your license key on it. All you want to do is go to the previously mentioned URL and head over to there and enter your name, company name, and also your license number. Once you've activated Flight Hub, you can go and log in using your username, the password that you've selected for your DJI account, and also typing in the verification key. Once you've logged into Flight Hub, you'll see the screen that we have on now. You'll also see a few options on the sidebar and the map view. So let's take a closer look at that menu on the side. Right at the top, you'll see something called Operation View. This allows you to view all your current operations that are live. If you've got the basic package, you'll just be able to access the map option. However, if you've got the advanced package like us, you'll also have access to Live View. Next down, you'll see your flight logs and statistics. This is where you'll be able to view any of your flight logs for any of the drones connected. Down from that, you'll be able to view your teams and manage who's in your team and also set what level they are. So now let's head into setting up your first user. There are three types of users you can have on Flight Hub. The first one is administrator, which is what your account will be. This allows you to view all of the information about every single team member and all the teams in the account. Captains are allowed to organize teams and view flight logs within their team. And pilots, which are sometimes referred to as players, will only be allowed to connect an aircraft and not access Flight Hub itself. If you want to view what each account can do, head over to our blog, which is also linked in the description. This will give you a more in-depth view of what each team member can do. Next, we're going to show you how to create your first team on Flight Hub. What you want to do is select the Teams option and then Team Management. Then there'll be a little plus button, which allows you to add another team. If you click that button, you'll be able to then enter the team name desired. For this one, we're just going to use Heliguy. Once you've entered your desired team name, all you want to do is hit Done, and then that's your new team created. Once you've created a team, you can start adding members to that, whether that's captains or pilots, just click add a member and using their DJI email address, just add them. So now let's head over and look at downloading DJI Pilot. The Pilot app is required to connect your drone to Flight Hub. Just remember that DJI Go 4 and DJI Go will not work with Flight Hub. You have to be using the DJI Pilot app. Now, the Pilot app is already on Crystal Sky monitors. However, if you're using an Android device, you'll need to install it on your own. To do this, just head over to the blog and find the information there, along with a download link. Next, we're going to learn how to bind your aircraft to DJI Flight Hub. When you log in with the DJI Pilot app, make sure it's the same one as your Flight Hub account. Now, on the Pilot home screen, you want to go into the Settings tab click connect to DJI Flight Hub. You'll then be presented by a terms and conditions box. Make sure you read through this thoroughly and click I agree and then yes. Next, hit the manual flight option within Pilot. On the flight screen, enter the settings in the right hand corner. Go down to the bottom and common settings. And then at the top of the menu, you'll see a button that says bind my device to team. All you wanna do is hit that button and it should connect to Flight Hub. If this process doesn't work, all you want to do is disconnect it and then try again. Now, if you want to activate Live View with your advanced Flight Hub account, all you want to do is go back to common settings on the Pilot app and then head over into Live Video and then hit Platform Live. Once the drone is then visible on the Operations menu in Flight Hub, Click the video camera icon. This will start the video stream in Flight Hub. If the video quality isn't clear, try changing the bit rate to its maximum. We recommend using the DJI patch antenna to get a better connection between your drone and the Sendence remote. This will give a better connection overall as well. So 
so there we have it that's the basics of flight hub if you do have any more questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and if you want to know more about flight hub head over to heliguide.com and we'll be able to help you there or you can give our sales team a call on the number in the description thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video